the thing that's really um, percolating for me in a literary sense is just this, uh, the way that this deep feeling of gloom seems to have settled over us. Um, I, I'm really interested in these sort of collective mood swings. You know, the, the, uh, there's a kind of giddiness, um, you know, in, in the 90s when, when that dot-com boom was happening and there was just a sense that, you know, America could do anything and that, um, you know, everybody could get rich. And, and obviously, you know, September 11th created a whole other um, you know, collective mood swing. Um, but then we, and we've been on a kind of, you know, things have been steadily darkening, I think, but, but boy, this last crash, just, you could just feel it. There's a kind of pall over us. And I think a lot of ideas that people have been living with for a long time um, are, are looking like, like, the, you know, they were misconceptions. And, and, um, you feel almost a kind of mood of uh, of fear and and you know close to grief for for all those hopes that we had and then the sense that that all sorts of things were possible and and um, it may be exaggerated and we may bounce back from this and and we may forget all about it but right now I'm just sensing a kind of very dark uh, mood and and a kind of uh, you know almost like a you know slightly apocalyptic <laughs> mood in, in America right now. And that's uh, something that I've been thinking about and, and I'm trying to figure out if there's some way to to, to work with that. Um, I know there have been a lot, of, uh, a lot of writers doing apocalyptic fiction. I think Cormac McCarthy's uh, The Road was a really interesting uh, sort of prophetic book. Um, you know, it, obviously it dealt with a kind of nuclear or he, he didn't specify what it was. Um, it's not so much, I, I'm not feeling a sort of, you know, Cold War, nuclear war kind of uh, darkness, but a, just a sense that our way of life uh, isn't what we thought it was or can't be what we expected it to be. And so what's left? And that, you know, that could lead to some really interesting changes. You know, um, the idea that Americans were going to change voluntarily because it made sense to say, drive smaller cars or, or consume less. That's just not how we work. You know, it, we really have to be forced into changing. But I have a feeling that we are being forced into changing, and that that could be um, there could be some opportunities in that. But in the meantime, there's just a pretty dark sense of uh, our horizons narrowing.